tennis and the Australian Open. Harriet Dots on the sofa with us. Morning, Harriet. Good morning. Made morning. it through to the second round. Just back and breaking news. You've just had your first full night's sleep recovering from the jet lag of playing in Australia last week. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, been really nice to sleep through the night. Um, <laughs> what was it like out there? Because the Australian Open is one of those iconic tournaments. Um, as I said, through to the second round. Um, do you feel like in your matches you made progress? For sure. It's a really exciting time for me in my career. You know, I'm still so young and all these experiences are still very new to me. Um, and, you know, I was fortunate enough to play on uh, Rod Laver Arena again. Amazing. Which was, again, super exciting. And to be able to compete well against one of the world's best was um, a step forward for me. What is the difference between playing on one of those show courts and uh, one of the outside courts? Because you often hear um, tennis stars talk about that. But is it sort of preparation is different, the actual walking out there and then sort of playing the points in such a huge arena? Well, the preparation is the same as, uh, you know, you just take each match as it comes. But obviously playing on a, such a big court uh, with a big crowd, uh, you know, it's, it's very different against, you know, a big player. Um, there becomes, you know, a lot more emotions uh, involved in it. How do you keep the emotions under control? Is that something you learn, do you think, as you go through your career? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm constantly learning and um, I think that's been really important for me, you know, making the progress that I have been doing and yeah just keeping really positive and you know you work on strategies that kind of help you on the court and that's why i just keep doing talking about keeping your cool um you got through to the third round at wimbledon last year how does that experience compare to what you've just done yeah for sure the experience of wimbledon last year uh was an amazing time for me and especially at my home grand slam um, yeah, it was uh, fun to be in front of a home crowd. I loved all the support and definitely gave me extra confidence going into so this So that year. does help. Everyone always has a little bit of a go at us for like putting pressure on their home tennis players and saying, well, you know, there's too much scrutiny. But you do find that it helps. Yeah, I love all the support and being at home. Um, I think it's extra special and, you know, I, you know there's something uh, really lovely about Wimbledon, um, which, yeah, it's my favourite tournament in the world. You might get into the top 100 this year. How, <laughs> I can see you sort of nod nervously when I say that. Does that bring more pressure or is that just exciting? Uh, a little bit of both. Um, it's definitely exciting for me to see kind of where I can get to. Um, in the short term, yeah, um, I hope to be in the top 100 soon. Um, you know, what have you got to, to do to get there? You've got to win a few more, obviously. but Yeah, win some more matches and the kind of the ranking takes care of itself. Um, Fed Cup teams just been announced. No Joe Conta. What does that mean for you? Is that extra responsibility now? I guess uh, it's very different for me as, you know, I'll be going there as the number two player. Um, so that brings, I guess, a lot of uh, different kind of emotions to me that I probably haven't experienced before. Um, again, we're playing an away tie, which this is, uh, for me, very different. Um, but this is an exciting opportunity for me. Um, one last question. We are, you know, I know we're under a little bit of time pressure. Can you just show everyone at home your fantastic nails? <laughs> I've been looking at them. <laughs> Did you have them done for last yeah. week? Um, Camera over there, number six. Yeah. That one. There you go. <laughs> love that. <laughs> yeah. We can only aspire to a manicure as good as that one. <laughs> Harriet, yeah. I love it. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming on, Harriet. All the best with good those luck. goals getting into the top 100 and have yeah. a great year. Thank Enjoy you. It. Thank you for having me. Uh, thank you very much. So it's